ओके वेलकम टू क्लीन कोडर यूट्यूब चैनल सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम नंबर फोर्टी सिक्स परम्यूटेशन इज अ मीडियम लेवल प्रॉब्लम सो लेट्स गो थ्रू द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट क्विकली गिवन एन एरे ऑफ नंबर ऑफ डिस्टिंक्ट इंटीजर्स वी आर सपोज टू रिटर्न ऑल द पॉसिबल परम्यूटेशन ओके सो वी कैन रिटर्न द आंसर इन एनी ऑर्डर uh they have mentioned that uh, the array which they are giving us has distinct integer so uh there can't be case like input is like 1 1 2 or 1 2 2 so all the elements would be distinct so like while rearranging you don't need to take care of the cases when uh two permutation would be same because of uh, the elements in the original array are repeated so that case they have simply taken care of so let's see the first example 1 uh, 2 3 so uh, all the permutations of 1 2 3 is original 1 2 3 2 uh, 3 reversed 1 3 2 uh, we can fix 2 in the first place and then write 1 3 and then reverse 1 3 2 3 1 and then we can fix 3 at first place and then write 1 2 at rest and then we can uh, switch 1 2 which is 2 1 so for three elements we are getting six permutations right for two elements uh, the permutations are 0 1 1 0 so for two elements the permutations are also 2 for one element the permutations are 1 so let's uh, check the constraints of this uh, problem so constraint of this problem are pretty straight forward uh, the length of the array would be between 1 to 6 and the range of number could be between minus 10 to 10 and all the integer of nums are unique they have already given this so from uh, nums dot length like this is this nums dot length array it is pretty small i would say so from this you can basically guess like a brute force solution would also be able to pass because uh, the problem involves telling all the possible permutations which by its nature won't be uh, very optimized so like a rule of thumb would be to go with the brute force solution in such problems and uh, let's see uh, how you can implement the brute force solution recursively let's move to our whiteboard okay so let's uh, take the size 3 so for size 3 we have uh, basically uh, three factorial permutations possible which is 6 uh, okay these are the permutations i have written so if you would want to write uh, permutations quickly uh, the method is like uh, write one here two three then switch these two then you will able to obtain the next permutation then fix here the next integer two and write the rest of them here then quickly switch them and similarly three right rest of the two and quickly switch them so for a uh, three sized array the number of permutations was six let's check another example this time i am taking size as four and you can see the number of permutations i've written all the permutations in advance in the interest of time uh, otherwise uh, you can uh, pause this video and uh, write all these permutations on a notebook to verify the fact that a uh, array of size 4 would produce four factorial permutations which are which is 24 four factorial is nothing but 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is 24 okay so these are all the permutations which you can uh, try to write on your notebook to verify the same okay so now let's uh, try to solve this problem uh, recursively so like i have tried to basically write a, a recursive tree for array size 3 like how you can solve this problem for uh, array of size 3 so for 3 we want six uh, permutations so permutations i have written at the leaves so these are all the permutations which you would obtain for an array of size 3 now let's see how we can make this 
tree basically this is a recursion tree right so it it goes depth first and then it backtracks and goes to the next permutation then it backtracks then it goes to the next permutation then it backtracks and so on and so forth so let's see how uh, we can uh, make this uh, recursion tree so uh, one two three is the given array red dot signifies the element which i am uh, currently processing so i am at element one two three so what i can do uh, by fixing uh, one at the first place is i ca i have three options either i can replace one with one like i am uh, replacing one with one doing something like this this is the first branch or i can do something like this i can replace one with two okay this is also a possible solution so second branch would be this i can also replace one with three so a third possibility is this okay so if we replace one with one in this configuration so we'll obtain one two three if we replace one with two uh, in this configuration we'll obtain two one three if we replace one with three in this configuration we'll be able to obtain three two one so these are the states okay these are our states after processing element one so let's uh, focus on this state and uh, let's see what are the options left behind like what all permutations i can make from this configuration so while my focus is on element two what i can do is i can uh, replace two with two okay i can do something like this so the first branch would be one two three only this is the original permutation only so a uh, second possibility is i can replace two with three okay so if i replace two with three uh, the permutation which i'll obtain is one three two okay so these are the two permutations possible so from this this is a leaf node actually because uh, only one state is possible uh, which which is by replacing the element itself so no other possibility is there so this these are the leaf nodes which you can uh, mark in some different color uh, for better understanding because only a single permutation is possible from them there are no multiple combinations possible so like this these two permutations i can get now let's see what i can get from the rest of the branches so uh, when when i'll backtrack and i'll reach this 213 now from this i have uh, again two uh, methods either i can replace one with one or i can replace one with three so if i replace one with one i'll be able to obtain 213 and if i'll replace uh, one with three i'll be able to obtain 231 so these are again leaf nodes so for third branch again let's repeat this procedure uh, at this state you can either replace two with two or you can replace uh, two with one so if you replace two with two you will be able to obtain three to one and if you uh, want to uh, replace two with one you will be able to obtain three one two so this is the recursion tree for three elements if you really want to test your understanding of this uh, recursion tree and your recursion you can try it try the same uh, same try building the same tree on a uh, array with four elements like uh, you can take the elements like this so if you are able to obtain 24 permutation then uh, you have uh, correctly understood uh, this recursion tree and uh, you can proceed with the writing the code uh, recursively so yeah you can try this and you can also verify like your 24 uh, permutations would be uh, similar to these one only so once you have tried this enough uh, i'll show you uh, my code like how i approach this problem so this is the code i use to submit this problem on lead code i'll walk you through each and every line so that uh, at least you can understand my solution if you are not able to uh, code uh, your solution initially okay so this is the permute function this is the original function which they have given to us with the uh, integer array nums 
and they are expecting a list of list of integers basically a 2d uh, array kind of thing okay basically this list of lists or it could be of different size also like this this is also possible something like this okay so this they are expecting so this that's why they are giving us the return type as list of list of integers let's move forward so uh, array is my answer which i'll use to generate all the permutations i'll put all my generated permutations in this array uh, this is permute ox is a recursive function and uh, i am using the original array uh, this uh, this array a double r which will contain all the generated permutations and i am taking zero as my starting index and after once this uh, recursive function complete i am just returning this original array so let's uh, see how my recursive function is working so uh, i have taken permute ox function nums is the original array which they have given to me and list of list of integer l this is uh, the array which i'll use to fill all the permutations i is the index at which i am currently in my nums array okay base condition uh, you can just uh, leave for a moment we'll come back to this base condition so you can uh, see this first for int j equals to i nums dot length j plus plus so these are basically the branching part in above recursion tree which you have seen this for loop will help us in this branching and uh, what is this doing this is basically swapping the elements of nums at position i with position j okay so this is basically doing this so permute ox is a recursive call what this would do is like this is your state in recursion so if you want to go deep uh, this is doing that okay so once you return from the recursion we need to undo the change which we have done right so we need to undo the swap which we have done so how can we undo the swap of two elements in an array so again swapping them like again we are swapping the integers i and j like this is again we are doing swap again so these both modules are nothing but swapping and this is the uh, recursive call which i am doing and i am incrementing the index plus one okay so eventually i'll reach my end of nums array so this is my base condition so uh, array list integer array this would be a permutation which i'll fill okay so what i'll do is whenever i hit this condition i'll put all the entries in array okay so array would contain my permutation so that i'll add to uh, l l is my final answer okay this one this is my final answer right i'll add that to l and return so this would happen uh, recursively for uh, each and uh, every element so uh, recursion recursion tree i have already shown you this is the recursion tree uh, which this uh, recursion is uh, making so with one two three i am like what this for loop is doing is this branching kind of thing which you can see this for loop is doing that and what you are basically saying with the uh, the recursive call to the function that is going deep so this all like recursion stuff i want to talk about now let's uh, also see the time and space complexity of this solution so from the input itself it is clearly evident that uh, the brute force solution is acceptable and in fact it is uh, quite uh, unoptimal like uh, the time complexity is uh, huge which is n into n factorial so factorial time complexity is really really uh, bad or slow so uh, uh, like for larger inputs 
the most of the computers won't be able to like process a really large input so that's why they are keeping the input size small so space complexity is off and space complexity is pretty straightforward like at any moment i am putting the elements in stack so this depth is proportional to number of elements in the array right so if an array is with three elements the depth would be proportional to the length of the array so it is quite straightforward to calculate the space complexity which is o of n so this was all i wanted to talk about this problem again this is a really really classic problem and this is asked a lot in face to face interviews so i recommend you doing this problem really well and convincing yourself that uh, you have understood all the uh, recursion like all the components of recursion really well so if you have if you still have any doubt please feel free to add that in comment section thanks a lot for watching this video